This is Feed Your Mind and Soul. In this video, we're going to discuss CERN. And so CERN was said to be pretty much shut down for the last three years or so. They, it sounds like they just started it back up around April. But now they're about to kick it up another notch. It sounds like a third level or something they're saying. So this is supposed to take place around July 5th. Well, actually on July 5th, they're saying. So the day after the holiday, they're supposed to crank up this machine to a whole nother level. So we'll have to see if we notice anything happening. I mean, most people didn't notice anything with the previous CERN activity. Like I said, it's been shut down since around 2019. They just started to back up and now they're about to crank it up. So the first time though, because CERN's been around for quite some time now and a lot of people haven't noticed anything, but I think you can kind of connect the whole Mandela effect thing to this because it seems to be kind of what this machine is supposed to be doing. It sounds like it's supposed to have this capability to possibly merge realities. Uh, this whole machine might be demonically influenced, actually, because they do have a statue outside of it. The statue was said to be the statue of Shiva. And the statue of Shiva is said to be one-third of the Hindu trinity. And it has to do with a lot of information that we're not going to really get into in this video, but sounds like some type of destruction and reconstruction of the earth and all this type of stuff like that creation and i don't know it's some pretty weird stuff for scientists to be using as their main statue i think the scientists even did a dance which they call the dance of the shiva and it's kind of strange how they would be so obsessed with this um with this spiritual type aspect because usually a lot of scientists are pretty much atheists so that's pretty interesting you know, that they have this uh, statue as their main statue. So when I've dug a little deeper into this information, it looks like there's the elite that know what this machine is supposed to be capable of doing. It sounds like it is supposed to merge the spiritual worlds into ours. So when you see activities like doors shutting on their own and haunted houses and like people play with the Ouija board and the planchette might move on its own, stuff like that. It shows that there's an invisible realm that we can't see, but there's actual entities in that realm. So if this machine, this CERN machine is cranked up even more, is it possible that this machine could merge realities? Uh, that's what they're saying in some of my deeper research. It could possibly merge realities, which would actually explain the Mandela effect. And they're saying when these realities merge, there could be in, there could end up being entities and creatures that are not here on this earth right now, but they might end up on this earth if these realities continue to merge. So then we can see entities like those dragons that people used to talk about and stuff like that, and possibly huge creatures and behemoths and creatures that they used to call dinosaurs and stuff like that can end up on this earth and merged into our reality and that would and cuz the bible does talk about like some weird weird creatures in the end times and some type of locust with men faces and stuff like that so maybe this would be like something like that where the CERN could open the abyss and these creatures would finally be free to you know, destroy mankind and be on this earth and devour the people and stuff like that, possibly. I mean, because they're definitely, they definitely seem like evil creatures because with the activities of haunted houses and uh, some like the activities of Ouija boards and witchcraft and stuff like that, it seems like these entities are definitely not on our side. So if they open this realm to them, they're going to probably um, not be on our side as well so we'll have to see um there was some clues i came across in this movie called the spider-verse enter the spider-verse i think it's called it's a sony movie and it's not the live action spider-man movie it was the cgi animated spider-man movie and the main character miles morales came across this secret lab and it looked like this uh room had the cern machine in it and when they activated it um, it, it brought emerged realities just like they're saying this machine is supposed to be doing so there were other spider-mans that came through but also there were some bad entities that came through like the green goblin who looked like this demonic creature 
you know, so that could be a clue, you know, so we'll have to, um, if anyone checks out that movie, you know, be on the lookout to analyze the connections there, and are they trying to show us something and reveal information to us? It's very possible. So, let me know what you all think about this information in the comment section. We'll have to see what happens July 5th. I mean, there's some interesting predictions for July. July sounds like a lot of predictions. Um, I don't usually get too much into predictions, but I, I do take note of them. So, like they're saying, Pluto is supposed to be having this strange alignment or for the first time in like 500 years or something. The last time this Pluto came around, there was a destruction of Rome and... Another time it came around, it was some some big events around big events like that. So they're saying July 11th is the return of Pluto. And that sounds to be right around the time this CERN machine is going to be cranked up a notch on July 5th. So and plus they're saying some other things about July. So we'll have to see. I mean, my opinion is usually I don't I don't know. Usually with these predictions, nothing usually happens. So I wouldn't bet my money or nothing that anything's gonna happen in july but it's possible so we'll just have to observe and see if anything comes of any of this information well like i said i mean usually with predictions and stuff you don't usually usually things just keep on going you know you know time just keeps on going but we do see a gradual um implication of things happening if you look if you're aware you'll see things are actually taking place towards the. Um, you know, like over the years, even the last five or 10 years, things have accelerated. So things do happen. It's just that specific days and specific months. I don't usually get too, I don't usually get too caught up in all that, but I do take note of it. So let me know what you think about all this information we covered in the video. I might leave a link for you all uh, where you can get more information about the CERN machine. So be on the lookout for that in the comment section in the description box. I also leave links if you want to support this channel. I'm accepting as little as $1 donations. Your donations will help me get a lot more documentary style videos out with visuals and stuff like that. So your support's very welcomed. Um, I'll be releasing a lot of content on my Patreon page. Well, I'm planning on it in the next um, month. Well, just for good now, I'm, I'm going to be back producing um, documentary style videos. So be on the lookout for that. Also, I'm going to leave links for my social media. Plus, I'm going to be at Feed Your Mind 2 releasing videos as well. So make sure you subscribe over there. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.